Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is John Krajewski. I'm uh, part of the product management team at Invensys. Um, for those of you who are not very familiar with Invensys, we are a uh, automation product vendor. And um, a lot of the people have already given you a lot of good information this morning. Uh, I'll try to not continue too much of the fire hose to the face treatment and try to spoon feed you some easy information and just give you an overall view um, of how OPC UA is going to be important to us and to our customers to solve some problems that you would face. Um, as we work with a lot of products across Invensys, we try to create common guidances across a lot of different organizations towards the goal of operational excellence for our customers and ultimately to deliver a series of benefits that our end customers want to do. This creates you know, a bit of a struggle for anybody who's been a large part of an organization. You have a lot of products and so we, we break that down into what we refer to as control excellence, excuse me, excellence themes. So the four excellence themes that I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today are control excellence, um, environmental and safety excellence, people excellence, and asset excellence. And I'll talk to you in a little bit about how OPC UA makes a difference in each of those. Um, I'm not going to tell you every OPC UA project we've got going on in Advances because we just don't have that kind of time. But I'll give you a sampling so we can get a good understanding. So moving on here, um, we've been committed to standards at Advances, you know, for as long as I can remember um, us being around here. We're a charter member of the OPC Foundation. Um, later this year, we'll be hosting the interoperability conference on our facility in Lake Forest. Um, so standards are very important to us, but it only as it relates to delivering end user benefit. And so we'll talk a little bit about how that'll happen. For those of you who were able to see Peter Martin's talk on the, um, the panel yesterday at the, uh, the uh, general session, he talked a lot about uh, the moving business parameters inside of systems and trying to use control loops to handle um, control of your business. Um, or otherwise what we refer to as enterprise control. Um, and throughout these sessions I've seen a consistent thread of a lot of systems that really need to interoperate very cleanly in order to achieve these types of results. And for us, the, the individual points here, you're seeing the orange points, are, are just some of the points that OPC UA will enable us to reach that vision that we have of enterprise control. Let's all walk you through some of the examples. So one of the uh, examples of control excellence um, is our system platform technology, which is a supervisory control uh, software product. Um, we break up um, projects or applications into what we refer to as galaxies. Galaxies can be as small as 250 I.O. systems or as big as over a million I.O. systems. And our customers have found that that size has actually been something they've struggled with. And for reasons that may be commercial or may be political, they want to actually break things, you know, things up into smaller elements. And as you want to break these things up into smaller elements, they want to interconnect them together. And we're going to be introducing this year OPC UA server and client capability to allow that to happen. Well, the, the OPC uh, client capability certainly allow us to connect bottom up from the field devices on up. And the server will allow us to talk up to the enterprise level from you know, any OPC clients you have there. But I also see a fundamental value there of just connecting systems together, and systems to systems integration um, at those higher levels. And so that's one of the examples under our control excellence theme. Safety excellence theme we have here is uh, one of our major products is uh, our companies is Triconix. One of their major products is the Trident, triple redundant uh, control product there. And uh, they're going to be introducing you, uh, OPC OA server in a new communications interface module later this year. And uh, this will actually bake the OPC OA server capability right down to the hardware layer. And this may, provides a lot of benefits, and certainly in cases of safety where redundancy and availability are, are absolutely all, you know, paramount, you must have them. That way you can get around the need for hosting these communications uh, elements inside of a PC. It's built right down into, and these things can be built into a triply redundant hardware interface down on the, uh, the hardware layer. So again, working towards that, that safety excellence theme. Moving on to our people excellence theme, we have a product uh, called our Kestra Workflow. And this workflow product um, actually does things like procedural enforcement. Uh, you're not going to need to understand all the boxes up here, and there's one orange arrow that points up to a connector there at the connector layer, which is OPC UA. What that allows you to do is basically connect in through any OPC UA source to be able to trigger workflows, to be able to re require a procedural enforcement to happen at that high level for a workflow. Moving on to the asset excellence theme, uh, we have a product uh, called Romeo. Uh, this Romeo product in the release version 6.0 introduced OPC UA capability. And what uh, Romeo does, it's a model-based optimization system. 
So you can basically create a mathematical model of your system and then connect it to either simulation data as being shown here, or you connect it to actual real world data to actually identify parameters inside of your system that you don't have actual measurement for. Um, and that's uh, a well known way you can use the Romeo method there. So all coming back to this concept of enterprise control and it linking things together, uh, OPC UA is, is core to our needs and, and core to our abilities to be able to deliver all of these capabilities in an integrated fashion. I promise I'd keep it short and sweet, and I am. Thank you very much. <laughs>